um, I need a little bit. Oh <laughs> yes, absolutely divine. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's how you need to have lamb. Mm, you... That's gorgeous. Mmm. I need the sauce. Mmm. Hi, Dan Toombs, the curry guy, and today I'm going to be preparing a lamb ron. Now, a lamb ron is just a leg of lamb, which is marinated for a couple days, and then the way I'm going to be cooking this is on the barbecue, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. But there's some special things I want to show you about this and, and the preparation um, that uh, I'll zoom in and show you a close-up. All right then, so I'd like to show you how did my butcher cut the bone? At the, uh, at the center point right here and also right there and he's also gone and taken all the grisly bit out of that part of the leg and the reason for that is we want to make it as easy as possible to cut the meat but we also want to get all that nice marrow there that's going to because we're going to be slow cooking this first before putting it onto a really hot grill so that that is going to bring out some really nice flavor and when I'm done with this it's going to look a bit like roadkill I'm telling you, it just like slits all through it. Like that. I'm gonna flip it over. So what you're left with is just this fall apart leg. It's just cut everywhere. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make some slits all over it and in those slits I'm going to stuff some uh, garlic We just stuff the garlic, those garlic slivers like that, into those holes. And that's going to take some time, so I'll speed up the, the camera there. Okay, with the meat all prepared, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start making the marinade. And the marinade is really quite simple. It's about a thumb-sized piece of ginger, eight cloves of garlic, <coughs> And this is some fried onion. So just I just fried some onions and some oil, about five or six tablespoons of that. Okay, now I've got two tablespoons of vinegar, so just white wine vinegar, and four tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, and then we've got some chilies. I got about four bird's eye chilies and one red habanero chili. This is not going to be just the marinade for this. It is going to marinate for um, a couple days, but um, then it's also going to, uh, it's going to work as a sauce. So I've got about a tablespoon of black pepper, tablespoon of tandoori masala, and a tablespoon each of coriander, ground coriander and ground cumin. And then last but not least, I've got two tablespoons of mustard oil. You could just use regular oil, but I do like the, the flavor of the, of the uh, mustard oil. Now I'm just going to take this and make it into a paste. All right, with that nicely blended into a paste like that, I'm going to take some yogurt. This is uh, 500 grams of yogurt. And I'm just going to put all that paste in there. Right, and to that I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of salt, maybe a little bit less, and just whisk it all together. As you can see, I've layered this uh, bowl with some plastic wrap, and now I'm just going to pour it all over the meat. And I'm not just going to do that, I'm going to rub it into the meat as well. I just want to get right into all those, you know, one of the reasons for, for uh, making all those slits in there was to give it a lot more surface area. So this meat's just going to be completely covered in the marinade. 
Not a bit of this marinade is going to go to waste either. It's, it makes a really nice sauce. Let's get this guy. I'm just going to rub into that meat. I'm going to need some more clean film here, obviously. The reason for the clean film is I want to just wrap it tightly. I don't want all that marinade sitting in the bowl and not touching the meat. I want it to be completely wrapped around that meat. And I'll, tie, I'll wrap that a little bit tighter as well. I'll put some more in there. because so I want that all to be just like soaking in over the next couple of days. So we're back. This beautiful leg of lamb has been marinating for two days. And what I've done is I've taken almost all the marinade off. So it's in this in this bowl here, and uh, I'm gonna use that for the sauce. But right now, though, this is something that um, not everyone's gonna want to do, but I do, and that is I'm going to um, just rub it with chili powder all over the top. I've got about two tablespoons here. Just gonna give it a nice red color. Be sure to wear gloves doing this, or else just don't touch your eyes because you won't be happy. Some more. And this is going to give the crust a really nice spiciness. I'm using Kashmiri chili powder so it's not that spicy. I'm going to be cooking this in two different ways today. First, I'm going to cook it at about 180 degrees Celsius, that's about 356 Fahrenheit on my Traeger because I like the, the nice smoky flavor that it gives it. And then, and you could actually do this in the oven. If you want to just cook this in the oven, there's no problem with that. Or you could do it on a regular barbecue and just uh, cook it over direct heat. There we are, that's looking nice. One thing I want to point out, it was pretty obvious to me, but um, this is uh, this this meat, all the all the surface fat has been taken off. So if you're getting this from your butcher, ask him to do that. Then I'm just gonna fill this up with a bit of water. This is boiling water. And that marrow is going to get nice and soft cooking in it, and I'll probably just put that into the, the water as well. Because that's going to become part of our sauce. There we go. So it's ready for the Traeger. I'm going to put that on the Traeger at 180, that's 356, for about two hours, maybe 250, until it's nice and tender. And then I'm going to take it over to uh, my barbecue and uh, I'm going to grill over high flames for just to get a nice char on the outside and then it's going to be ready just to dig into. I'm looking forward to this. So I've placed it, I placed the lamb rod in there. I'm going to let smoke in the Traeger for about a half hour so it's just going to be on smoking mode. And then I'm going to cover it with some foil. I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to put it right up to 180. That's 356 Fahrenheit. And uh, then we're going to cook it for another two hours. To make the sauce, I've taken what water was remaining and um, poured it into a pan. And I'm just cooking it down to a soft consistency, so it's quite thick. So there's only about 500 milliliters, two cups left. And we're just going to cook that down until it's nice and thick. Now, that took about 10 minutes or so. Nice and thick. Gorgeous. I'm going to start stirring in the marinade one tablespoon at a time. We don't want it to curdle, so we have to do it one tablespoon at a time on a very low heat.
fall apart syndrome. That's about ready to go on the barbecue. We're going to grill it until it's blackened. It's going to be so nice. We've got the Kamado Joe over there, flaming hot, ready to go. Let's put that meat on. Basting it with a little bit of ghee, garlic, a little bit of leftover, leftover sauce. Ah, flaming hot. Oh yeah. It's all red, cooked totally tender on the inside. We're just blacking it now. the rest of this over there. We are back and um, going to try some lamb ron now. Hey Stu, get over here and try this. A friend of mine, grab his friends for dinner. Try some of that. Dip it in there. Dip it in there. That's the sauce. Oh wow, that's amazing. Mm. It's, uh, that's absolutely delicious. Try some of that. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. That's alright, I like that. <laughs> hey! Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel. And if you see that little ding dong bell down below, please ding it so that you uh, get uh, notifications every time that I upload a video. I upload videos every Wednesday and also a few in between. Thank you very much.